Hello everyone, welcome back to another unique weapon, armor and artifacts guide for Stalker 2. Over the past 4 or 5 days we've been collecting, on YouTube and Reddit, all of the unique items in the game and a huge shout out to everyone who helped us uncover them so quickly. In this guide we're covering these items region by region, starting in the lesser zone and wrapping up in Pripyat. Some items are tied to specific quests and a few are missable due to the game's branching endings which can alter the quests and the uniques available. Before we begin, a couple of important disclaimers. Of course, their video does contain plenty of spoilers. A bug warning, the game is very buggy and some uniques are either outright missing or possibly don't even exist in the game currently. For instance, the Cavalier, Rekha and Shield of Duty exosuit don't feature in the video because they couldn't be found. If we get more information, we'll update the Reddit thread linked in the description. There's also quest bugs, two unique items that have quest bugs, but I will still explain how to get them in the video. And lastly, while most of the video focuses on unique items, a few non-uniques are in the video, like the gauze gun is included because it's too good to leave out. Finally, if an item isn't featured in this video, it's likely found in multiple locations, such as stashes, quest rewards, or being purchasable from multiple vendors. Let's start and we begin with one thing I'm not showing in the guide and that is the pre-order and special edition bonus items. All are found by completing the seek and you shall find unique side mission. A USB will appear in your stash after doing needle in a haystack main mission. The items are the tourist suit, veteran, early bird survival pack, PTM pistol monolith, AR416 monolith, Ryman Gabion hunter, M860 shotgun monolith, Siva Wanderer suit modification, the SSP 100M circus suit, the ultra lightweight mercenary suit, model competitor, Viper monolith SMG, the lullaby, Margatch D12 MT, and the Ward Exoskeleton, the PSZ 21W Strum. You can get those in your own time by following the side quest. Let's begin with the lesser zone. Valak Lummox's AKM 74S found in the stash in the water tower during Warlock's debtor's quest. Unknown Stalker's AR416 give Pomor the religious icon during the Poppy Fields quest. Here's the icon. The weird flower artifact is found in the north part of the poppy fields. The weird ball artifact is found next to the Bulba anomaly. Lastly, in the lesser zone, we have Partner. You get Partner after you defend Zalasaya from Monolith, the side quest that unlocks after you do the Circa region. Gaffer will give you a follow-up to assist the remaining stalkers, and you talk to Warlock, and he will ask you to retrieve his gun from one of his houses. Just don't give him it back, and you can keep it. The quest is called On the Edge. The problem is, you can see this entire quest is bugged for most people, and you can't do this one, and I haven't done it either. Hopefully it will be fixed soon though. Let's move on to garbage. The drowned weapon, you talk to the guy near the entrance to the slag heap and he has dropped his gun. Oh 
Shaz Mate is found in Shaz Stash, located during the No Honor Among Thieves side quest. All right, give me the goods and the info on Shaz Stash. I knew we could figure something out. Finally, you can find the stash once you've talked to him in the northern part of Garbage in a tunnel. Just be careful as a mutant guy will attack you once you pick this up. You should also get an achievement for doing this as well. Spitter, kill and loot Leva Borzoi when he tries to rob you during a big score side mission. I'm getting tired of waiting. Tired, are you? I'll help you rest in peace. Come over here. Combatant, show Colonel Korshinov the unusual PDA in Back to the Slag Heap mission. Window Freedom Suit, there's a pipeline bridge that you can walk under in between the Slag Heap and Rostock. It's next to one of the pipes. Cement Factory, the decider gun you get from the uninvited guest quest given by Mitric Genius at the Concrete Forest in the Cement Factory region. Everybody's just ignoring me. Thank God you're a decent guy. So, I screwed up big time. I left a stash underground. The Siva D suit is on top of the unfinished building in the northeastern part of the cement factory. There's an anomaly that makes you dizzy and chips away at your health, so make a save before you climb up. The GP-25 grenade launcher under battle in a safe in the intercom tower in Cement Factory. The code is 030794. Cooling Towers. The Weird Nut, you have to solve the Fire World Anomaly in the Cooling Towers area, the big yellow circle. Probably the best item in the game to be honest. It automatically cures bleeding, which I have played the main story without this and you bleed practically the entire time during the final five missions or so.
cuirass exoskeleton at the SKD assembly unit at the cooling towers area. Climb up multiple sets of stairs and a ladder inside the building. Unfortunately, this exoskeleton doesn't allow for sprinting. The Grom S15 at the cooling towers as well, southwest of the SKD assembly unit found in a pit with fire anomalies. Wild Island. Lynx is a reward for completing the main mission Hop on the Trail while you're in this area. Zayton. The soft mod is found in the bottom right corner building of the railway maintenance facility. The PSZ-5i Hawk is found at the railway maintenance facility as well, across from the soft mod location. The code for the door is 2468. Clusterfuck is found in the sniper's nest during the three captain's missions in Zayton. You must complete the mysterious case before this unlocks on the Sultansk. Predator, in the village east of the railway maintenance, inside the big building with the slanted roof and mutated cat. However, the big blue chest that should be in this room is missing for most players and it is currently bugged. Next we have Weird Water. This is located in the Lights Anomaly in Zayton. Now it's currently bugged but what you're supposed to do is head inside and run from light to light and one of them should have the Weird Water just sitting inside of the light. The spawn place is random but mostly from what I've seen online and I've seen three or four different spawn locations they tend to be on rocks around this kind of central rock in the middle. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes of checking all of the lights to find it, but if you don't, it's probably bugged. Also, you need to do this at night. Cardin. Special weapon is found in the mill in Stats Leech's body, north of the Rookie Village.
exoskeleton found in the room next to one of the TVs as soon as you complete the Legends of the Zone main mission. Swamps, Deadeye is a reward for completing the story machine Ad Astra per Aspera. Circa. The Gambit is technically not a unique weapon, as you get it as a reward for completing In Search of Miracle missions, but you can also get it as a reward for completing Legends of the Zone. The Mask One helmet is in a bag in the sewer while escaping during the last drop of blood quest. Rostock. The Siva V suit, it's on the west side of Rostock where there's an electric field anomaly surrounded by a military helo crash. It's within the cabin of the overhead crane. Tactical helmet found in the underpass in the bottom right corner of the city. Glutton is in an ec underpass exit next to the Rostock right of the abandoned helicopter fields. Merc is in a duffel bag in the Rostock Depot, the room just across from where you finish the Invisible Threat quest. Sledgehammer, you get this from becoming master of the arena in Rostock, which is a side mission. The side mission can be bugged during round 4 of the arena, so make a backup save before starting this one. Sphere M20 Helmet as a quest reward for the Just Business job from Barkeep in Rostock. Chemical plant. The trophy is found in west of the army warehouses. There are a couple of small concrete structures. One of them has a dead body near it. You can toss a grenade into the structure and the other ones nearby will explode. And one contains a safe with the trophy weapon.
PSZ 12E Bulat is inside the old Freedom HQ building, the armor warehouse is on the bottom floor. The code for the door is 0690. Spitfire, in the sewers, in the area where you escape the quest in search of past glory. The Burnt Forest, you can get the weird pot in the Mist Anomaly, where you have to find the key for the house. Duga, the Siva suit, this is found at the school location on the southernmost end of the Duga region. The small mini quest you get here to get inside of a locked room where there's a soldier outside and he's fighting zombies. The quest won't be available until you start the main missions in the Duga region. Also the quest is bugged so the guy who gives you the quest might attack you but you can simply kill him and take his key. Malachite. Gangster on a table in the underground bunker during the A Minor Incident mission. Yantar. The Siva Eye suit is inside the Yantar production complex. You need to jump onto the pipe hugging the main building with wood planks leading into a window. The PSZ-9D duty armor. This is found on top of a sky bridge between two buildings in the Yantar Agricultural Workshop. 
This one can be tough as you need to find three keys and there's multiple mutants going around and the armor is found on the rooftops. Red Forest, the Rat Killer, is found during the main mission, An Act of Mercy. During the mission inside the dusty cable tunnel when you pick up the regenerator, the gun can be found next door. Whip is located inside the doctor's house on a table when you return from the regenerator mission, an act of mercy. Yaniv. The weird bolt is inside of the tornado anomaly in the Yaniv region. Again, make a backup save as the bolt sometimes doesn't show up. The Diamond Exoskeleton, probably the best armor in the game, 
is located in Yaniv on the roof of the eco bunker to the southeast of Yaniv station during the boundary main mission. There is also a second one you can find in the sunny kindergarten in Pripyat if you're looking for it. Jupiter. The Texan can be found in the only open scientist bunker in the abandoned science campus outside of Pripyat. Personally, my favourite gun in the game. Pripyat. Liberty Exoskeleton is on the second floor of the bookstore in Pripyat. The operator exoskeleton is found between Pripyat and Yaniv. You have to climb the red pipe and then jump onto the second floor of the building to find it. Technically this one is not unique as there are at least four of the operator exoskeletons found around Pripyat. Ruby Exosuit is hidden in a lock room a floor above the sport court in the Palace of Culture. You need to use an explosive in order to open the door from the outside. Brumbar Exoskeleton is found in the Pripyat White House. Location is near the top floor.
The Bulwark exosuit is in the music school area. You need to again use a grenade from the outside to open the door. The Gauss Gun, this is technically not unique, but the unique version is not until the end game, which I will go over in a second. And it can also be found on random monolith soldiers, but this is a permanent spawn for it. And you can find it in the Prometheus Music Theater. You can open the door with a grenade. Alright, that just leaves us with the ending unique items and there are two sets of possible items to find and you can google how to get the different endings and there are multiple steps in different missions. But there are four possible endings to the game with there being two different sets of missions. You can only get one set of unique items in the playthrough, however there isn't actually a free roam or new game plus in the game which is dumb and it makes getting all of the following unique items completely pointless. But I will go over them anyway. Ending Uniques 1, doing either the Ward ending or the Spark ending where you side with Colonel Kershanov and the Ward. You can get the X7 suit in the safe after finishing Down Below mission. This is actually unmissable and you get this in either of the endings. The Heart of Chernobyl, this is a unique artifact looted from Strelak during the last step mission. The EM-1, unique Gauss rifle, this is looted from Scar during the last step mission. Lastly we have ending uniques number two, doing the Strelik ending or the Kaimanov ending where you side with Richter. The beast is looted from Colonel Kershanov in the down below mission after you defeat him. The Encourage weapon is also looted from the Colonel but it's currently bugged and is missing for some people. Sotnik is on the table after finishing the down below mission, you can also pick up the X7 suit here in this version as well. Lastly we have Labyrinth 4. You get this for not shooting the doctor during the quest The Last Wish. When you escape through his basement, there is a secret tunnel and you can find the gun in his vault. Guys, that is it for this unique weapons, armors and artifacts guide. Hopefully you found it helpful and if you did, like and subscribe to see more helpful videos in the future. And I will see you all in the next one.